Depending on who you talk to, core training could be anything from doing crunches to doing kickboxing on a BOSU ball and anything in between. It's become so obscure that it's quite challenging to actually know if you're training your core well or not. So in this video, we're gonna give you the three types of exercises you should be doing to make sure that you have a strong, functional, and good looking core. Let's do it. The first type of core exercise is compression. It's what people most commonly think of as core exercises, like crunches and sit-ups. Biomechanically, we're talking about spinal flexion or rounding of the back forward, trying to bring the lower body towards the face. Now, crunches and sit-ups are fine exercises, but we think there are better ones, better bang for your buck exercises. The two foundational compression exercises that we use in our primal athlete programming is the L-sit and the hanging leg raise. We love these exercises because there's a progression or a version for every skill level and they're foundational because they can lead to a lot of higher level skills like these. If you want more information on how to perform the ELSIT or the hanging leg raise, check the description box below for the links. The second type of core exercises you need to be doing is carrying. This quite literally can mean carrying things. Farmer's carries, suitcase carries, whatever configuration of a carry that you could possibly think of, they're good for you. Or this can mean more conventional strength training exercises like squats, deadlifts, Olympic lifts, lunges, anything where you have to pick up something heavy and hold it. You know we love minimalist training like calisthenics, but there's no substitute for just picking up some heavy shit. Now, carries are the opposite of compression. You're actually resisting that spinal flexion of compression. So you're resisting it having to stay upright or erect. Carrying is the best way to train the overall strength of your core. And it can really help pack on some mass if that's what you're looking for. And these types of exercises are essential if you're gonna be doing anything that involves impact, like running, jumping, or any type of contact sport. You know we love being flexible, but you don't wanna be a limp noodle, so pick up some heavy shit once in a while. Now, this is strength side, so you know we had to do something a little weird. The third type of core exercise is, of course, crawling. Now, this doesn't mean you have to be the person crawling all around the gym. This category includes planks, mountain climbers, push-up variations, basically anything that gets your hands and your feet on the ground at the same time. Crawling exercises are the best way to strengthen the coordination and connection between the upper body and the lower body. If you only did the first two categories of core exercises, compression and carrying, then you'd have a really strong core, but almost exclusively in this plane of motion. Crawling gives you the ability to work on all the other functions of your core. Rotation, resisting rotation, side bending, scapular function, and so much more. You can even do crawling exercises that work on compression or you can carry while crawling. And most people, make money with their hands. So we gotta make sure we're taking care of these things. You don't want carpal tunnel. So put your hands on the ground to keep them strong. I hope that this video has given you the framework to make sure you're training your core to the fullest without any fluff. You can take these categories of core exercises, compression, carrying, and crawling, and make them segments of a workout or make them the entire workout themselves. If you liked the video, then please like the video. Don't forget to comment below what you think the most underrated core exercise is. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you.